hi welcome back to my channel today I will be doing a tutorial on how to get this hairstyle I consider this an afro puff with a bang I just put on all of my makeup so I felt this was the perfect time to film this intro and so if you guys like this hairstyle and you would like to achieve it please keep watching this is a hairstyle that I like to do on hair that has already had product put into it and it's basically like your hairstyle is about two, three, four days old and you just want to put it up. So what I use is a rat tail comb, gel, a spray bottle, and a brush. And I use something like a string to tie my hair up. Here's my string, and I also use a clip for the front of my hair. First, what I like to do is push my hair back, see what I'm working with. I like to make my part for my bang right where the top of my eyebrow is. So I just part the hair a little bit. And guys, the part does not matter at all because folk aren't really going to see it. It's going to be blurred out by the bang. So I have this side parted already. So I'm just going to take it through like I'm going to do a braid, but this is really just the bang part. So I'm just going to take this through right here, the front, and just do a straight line. Ooh. Then I like to take it, I like to grab a hold of the piece pull it up and see where that other part lies I use my fingers at first just to grab a hold of the hair and then I go back in with my comb and straighten things out if need be I think this part is pretty darn good okay now that I have gotten the piece that I want to be my bang I'll twist it a little bit I'll get my clip, clip it away. Now it is time to work with the rest of the hair. Spray this part down on the sides. Okay, spray it on the sides. All the parts that we want to be slick up. Oh, now y'all, water slides off my hair, honestly. I'm just gonna brush it back. And like I said guys, at this point I have already put a leave-in in my hair. I've already put my oil in my hair. So it is already moisturized. Just brushing it back. Now that I've got all those pieces nice and wet, I like to get my gel. I have very limited amount of this one left. And slick the sides. I'll take some more gel and I'll put it in the middle. And then lastly, I'll take some and I'll put some gel on the back. And guys, I am not at all doing a sleek up look. I only put the gel just so my hair can stay in place. But in my opinion, it does not come out slick. It's just staying there, honestly. Now that my hair is kind of slick, I take my little band. And y'all, this is a shoelace, BT Dubs. And I tight around my hair making sure that it does not get in the way of my bang. Whew. 
and then we take a little break because our arms are tired. And then we push it up the back. Yeah, I take my beginner and I tighten it with my hands like this. And then I use my thumbs to push up the back. Because y'all, my hair, I don't know about y'all's, it does not just move before me. I have to literally move the band itself. The work, the work, the work. Okay. Okay. Now that I have it up, I like to relax it a little bit. I let go of it to the point where I feel comfortable that I can wear this all day. Then I go to the front and I tie it. I make sure there's no curlies tangled up in here. Get out. Now that I put my hair up, I like to pick along my hair. Okay, I think that's as good as we can get it. Now, I take my bang out. First, I like to just spread it, spread it, spread it, spread it. Then I like to wet it. I like to really saturate it. I've already put leave-in in my hair, but I like to spray a little bit more on the front part of my hair. I like to pull my product through my bang so it can feel elongated. Then I like to pick, pick the bang. Pretty. And then it is going to form. It's going to form really nicely on its own. But I'll just tweak my afro behind it just to make sure it has a good foundation to be on top of. And so it's my bang. This side you can see really well. And yeah. Thanks for watching.